What's up fellow Arkham enthusiasts? It's Jikorn, back at it again with another epic video. Today we're diving into the world of the Dark Knight, and talking about one of my favorite games ever, Batman Arkham Origins. But hold on to your utility belts my friends, we're here to discuss, is Batman Arkham Origins an underrated gem, or a missed opportunity? Let's find out. First things first, let's talk about the plot. Arkham Origins takes us back to a time before Batman became the seasoned crime-fighting machine we know and love. It's Christmas Eve in Gotham City and things are about to go down. Black Mask, a notorious crime lord, puts a bounty on Batman's head, attracting some of the deadliest assassins in the world. As Batman tries to uncover the truth behind the twisted game, he encounters familiar faces and forms of crucial relationships that shape his future as a Dark Knight. It's like Batman's awkward teenage years, except with more ass kicking and less acne. Now I gotta say, the plot in Arkham Origins is pretty solid. It sets the stage for Batman's early years and gives us a fresh perspective on his journey. The idea of a young and inexperienced Batman facing off against a horde of deadly assassins is just badass. And come on, who doesn't love a good Christmas themed game? It's like Die Hard meets Batman, and it totally works. But here's where the missed opportunities start to creep in. The game introduces these iconic villains like Killer Croc, Deathstroke, Copperhead, and Firefly, but it doesn't fully explore their potential. Sure, we got some epic boss battles and face-offs, but I can't help but feel like there was more that could have been done with these characters. I wanted to see deeper character development and meaningful interactions with Batman. Instead, they sometimes feel like they're just there to check off a list of villains rather than being integral to the story. Speaking of characters, let's talk about Joker. Now I love the Joker as much as the next guy, but did we really need him to be one of the main antagonists again? Don't get me wrong, Troy Baker's performance as the Joker is pretty good. Those were two very, very bad men. Ooh, the things they've done. You really don't want to know. They deserved death. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> but it feels like a missed opportunity to not explore other villains in depth. We already had the Joker as the main baddie in the previous game, so why not give other villains a chance to shine? It would have been awesome to see one of the other villains take center stage and truly challenge Batman's skills and resolve. But hey, it's not all doom and gloom. Arkham Origins still delivers when it comes to gameplay. The open world exploration is top notch and the combat system remains as satisfying as ever. You can glide through the streets of Gotham City, grapple onto ledges, and unleash some serious beatdowns on unsuspecting thugs. And let's not forget about the detective work. Batman has a whole CSI thing going on. He can rewind crime scenes and put on his detective vision. Crime scene investigations and the detective vision add a new layer of immersion and strategy to the game. It's like being Batman, Sherlock Holmes, and a total badass all at once. So let's address the elephant in the back cave. The multiplayer mode. Some say it was as necessary as the nipples on the bat suit. Looking at you, Batman and Robin. And personally, I agree. Not very useful. But I like to think of it like it was that extra chicken nugget in the box of chicken nuggets that you didn't ask for but ended up getting anyway. While the inclusion of the invisible predator online mode in Arkham Origins attempted to offer a different multiplayer experience, it fell short on several different aspects. The mode pits gangs led by Joker and Bane against each other, with Batman and Robert awkwardly thrown into the mix, the result is a lackluster, disjointed multiplayer component that fails to live up to the equality of the main game. One of the main issues with the multiplayer mode is its lack of coherence and immersion. The concept of playing as either member of Joker or Bane's gang sounds intriguing in theory, but in practice it feels disconnected from the core of the Batman experience. The inclusion of Batman and Robin as a playable character seems forced and out of place, diluting the focus and undermining the unique gameplay dynamics that the main game provides. When you think about it, Arkham Origins didn't bring much new to the table in terms of gameplay mechanics. The gameplay mechanics were great, but they lacked innovation. Sure, we had some new gadgets like the remote claw and shock gloves, but they didn't drastically change the way that we played the game. It felt like a slight rehash of the mechanics we already knew and loved from the previous Arkham games. And let's not forget about the map. While Gotham City and Arkham Origins is bigger than ever, to be honest though, it would have been great to see a more unique and diverse Gotham that truly reflected the earlier time period. Another missed opportunity for innovation was the lack of new gameplay modes or challenges. The challenges maps were a major highlight of the previous games, and they felt a bit stale in Arkham Origins. They didn't introduce anything groundbreaking or exciting. It would have been awesome to see new and intensive challenges that pushed our skills as players to the limit. The side missions at Arkham Origins were a total blast. They added depth, variety, and excitement to the game, making it an even more immersive experience. The most wanted missions introduced us to unique stories and characters, from the trippy encounters with Mad Hatter, to the emotionally charged showdown with Mr. Freeze in the Cold Cold Heart DLC. These missions provided intense gameplay moments and expanded the Gotham City underworld. The epic battles with deadly assassins like Deathstroke, Copperhead, and Shiva tested our skills and pushed us to new heights as the Dark Knight. 
The random crime and progress events scattered throughout Gotham City added a dynamic element to our crime-fighting adventures, making us truly feel like the protector of the city. Overall, the side missions at Arkham Origins were a standout feature, delivering unique stories, exciting gameplay challenges, and unforgettable encounters with Batman's iconic villains. They added depth, variety, and replayability to the game, ensuring that we will never get bored of patrolling the streets of Gotham. From the opening encounter with Killer Croc at Black Cape Penitentiary to the final showdown with Joker in the Prison Chapel, each boss fight presents its own set of challenges and requires strategic thinking and precise timing to overcome. One of the most notable boss fights is the confrontation with Deathstroke. This intense one-on-one -on -one battle showcases the tactical prowess and combat skills of both Batman and Deathstroke. The fight is a thrilling dance of counters, evasions, and precise attacks, requiring players to be at the top of their game. It's a testament to the game's combat system and the depth it offers. Another memorable boss fight is the encounter with Bane. This brutal and physically demanding battle emphasizes the strength and resilience of both characters. Bane's formidable presence and relentless attacks push Batman to his limits, forcing players to adapt their strategies to exploit Bane's weaknesses. The fight is a true test of skill and determination. Additionally, the boss fights against other assassins such as Copperhead and Firefly provide unique and intensive challenges. Each assassin brings their own distinctive ability to the combat system, requiring players to adapt and think on their feet. These encounters showcase the creativity and diversity of the game's boss design. So in conclusion, Batman Arkham Origins is a great game with its fair share of its opportunities. It gives us a captivating prequel story, introduces new gameplay mechanics, and offers pretty amazing boss fights. However, it falls short in fully exploring the potential of its villains, lacking in the multiplayer, and lacking innovation. But hey, don't let that stop you from experiencing this underrated gem for yourself. If you're a fan of the Arkham series or you just love playing as a Dark Knight, give Arkham Origins a shot. Trust me, it's worth it. Alright, well that's it for today's video. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Batman Arkham Origins. And make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Until next time, stay awesome, and remember, I'm Batman.